Hey guys, so I am here with Ezra, I mean beat me. Hi, I'm Fuzzy. I am the trans and Mel is a cis. So today we're gonna be talking about uh, how we do that and how we're in a relationship. As I said, I am transgender, uh, non-binary specifically, and I loosely identify as bi or queer. And I am cis and I identify as a loose lesbian. A loose lesbian? A loose lesbian. A loose lesbian. <laughs> I sometimes get approached mostly by my other trans, trans masculine friends, and they will often ask me, Oh, so Mel identifies as a lesbian, like, are you okay? No shade to like people who have asked me that. I get where it's coming from, but I am very comfortable with the fact that. I accept you for being a cis lesbian. Yeah, it's really, Basically, it's a hard life. I don't feel that Mel's identity has to say anything about my own. When we first started dating, I remember like we had a few conversations about like labels and stuff like that because I had previously identified as bi and then decided to start going by lesbian instead because of how I was feeling about my own sexuality, um, which was largely about like myself and not other people. We talked about like what that label meant to me and like how it didn't have to do with your identity yeah. and how to like make sure that it didn't invalidate you in any way. Yeah, there's this common like really narrow view of even like queer relationships where you, if you're straight, you are a dude and a lady and you're together. And if you're gay, you have to be of the same gender. Right. Being a gay relationship or a queer relationship. And we don't fit either of those things. I mean, at the end of the day, like, your, like, whatever labels you use, whatever labels I use, don't actually have any kind of tangible effect on our relationship. We love each other and <laughs> we're, we're happy dating each other. If you're looking to date someone new, it can be... That can be a reason to use sexuality labels, just to tell people what you're interested in. But it no longer plays a role in our relationship once we're dating. Yeah, that's, but that's how I feel. That's not to say that like we don't like care and embrace each other's identities. Oh yeah. Because it's not like it's not like I ignore the fact that you're not binary. That's like important in our relationship. Yeah. It's just not it's not important in the labels. Yeah, and it's important and I like like I don't ignore the fact that you're a lesbian. Labels don't have to define anything about the way we love each other. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in queer relationships, it'll be like, oh, you're you're a lesbian couple. Yeah. Or like super bi erasure happening. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. By saying like, oh, it's a straight relationship or it's like a lesbian relationship. Yeah, when you just don't know. I'm told that we're, and we're told that we are in a lesbian relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little awkward because I am neither a woman nor a lesbian. <laughs> just aside from like the label stuff, is there anything that you feel like makes you more comfortable dating a cis person that like I do or that we do collectively. Yeah, yeah. So just before I started dating well, I told you personally oh, yeah, that yeah. <laughs> I was one done dating cis people and I don't care if you say I'm cisphobic, okay? <laughs> there was a situation that caused oh, me yeah. to say that. Oh yeah. VidCon uh, twenty sixteen, right before Mel and I started dating. We were at the LGBT meetup group kind of deal and I got hit on by this girl and I don't want to say that she was a lesbian because I don't know but I think she was. She was queer. She was queer and, and cis. And cis. We were like talking and she's like oh yeah you just seem like this really cool girl and I was like oh actually like I'm non-binary which I like to mind that the first time. And then throughout the conversation, she sh she just kept being like, oh yeah, like you're, you're a really nice chick. When she was like calling me a girl and a lesbian and all this stuff repeatedly while trying to flirt with me. I left and I was very upset, but I was like, I'm not gonna date cis people and I'm definitely not going to mess around with cis lesbians anymore. I hadn't felt invalidated by their identities. I'd felt invalidated by the fact that they didn't respect mine. They only wanted to see me in a way that was attractive to them. 
Yeah, and with what presumably fit their sexuality labels. Yeah. The stuff that you do that makes me feel really comfortable in our relationship. Well, one, I know that for you, you made it very clear that, like, you see me as non-binary, and you've made that very clear to me, and you've made it very clear that you are attracted to me not despite the fact that I'm non-binary. Like, you don't see past it and pretend I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. You love me, like, for all of myself. You perceive my gender correctly, and you love me because of it. So that's always been really validating, and you, like, tell me that when I get insecure because I'm needy. There have also been situations where it might have been easier for you to just call me your girlfriend to other people and I've told you that like you can because I know that that can be like a lot you know when you're only just in the process of coming out to family and then you're like oh by the way like I'm gay but I'm not dating a girl like I'm doing just like a lot. <laughs> yeah. it gets confusing I've given you passes knowing that it's really hard and being the person who's had to explain that as well and you've been like no and I wouldn't mind if you if you accepted that. But so, I would mind. But you would mind. And you, like, correct your family members on my pronouns, and you're, like, very patient in explaining to other people, and that just is really nice because you stick up for me. And now your family's actually, like, pretty decent yeah. at using my pronouns, which we didn't think would happen. Yeah. <laughs> so just that, just really being, like, a good like ally to me. <laughs> you really good ally like a good ally. Here's your cookie. <laughs> You're not just doing the bare minimum and like you care. We've been friends for a while and like I you were one of the first people I came out to as trans and you've always been really good with my pronouns and then when I switched names. The fact that I felt safe enough to then be like, okay, so I'm not gonna be your girlfriend. I'm gonna be your we chose date me. You talked about words that are okay to use and words that aren't yeah. okay to use. Um, and you were always really respectful of like any boundaries I had in terms of like how I felt about my body and just like what I what I felt comfortable with. You're always like super respectful and understanding of that. Like the the amount of compassion that I felt from you was also like really important. I don't want you to feel invalidated in any way, and I don't want anything that I do or say to make you feel like I'm presenting our relationship in a certain way that yeah. like, validates my sexuality, but that invalidates your gender. Yeah. I know that we had a conversation when I went to change my name about the fact that what you are able to casually out yourself to people when you want to, mm -hmm. um, previously you were able to do that because I had a really feminine name that, like, no guy would ever have. You didn't have to call me your girlfriend or anything, but you could say my name and they would assume that I wasn't a man and assume yeah. that you were gay. But now I have a name that's really uncommon uh, to see for feminine people. I know that we did have to have a conversation about the fact that that would change that for you and that you were happy that I, I was making this change for myself, but you did feel okay enough to like voice to me that that would change something. Communication is really important yeah. and compassion and understanding that we have really different experiences and needs and just trying to be aware of those needs. When you were about to change your name, like it wasn't that I was saying that you would, that it would be like hard, like a yeah. struggle for me. I wasn't like, uh, well, you know, that's hard for me. Like, you have to use this name that makes you uncomfortable all the time, but it's hard for me if you change it. Like, it wasn't like that. No, I wasn't trying oh. to apply that. You were, you were asking if I would be okay with it, which, yeah. like, of course, of course I would. The thing that would change the, like, the way that other people would perceive our relationship mm -hmm. without the details. Well, it does, like, change outside perceptions, at least initially, like, I can always be like, yeah, we're queer, or in, like, use yeah. your pronouns, which aren't you know, masculine. Yeah. I'm pretty loud about the fact that I'm gay. Yeah. So that kind of lets people know. Yeah. So it actually, like, it wasn't as hard as I was perceiving it before you changed mm -hmm. your name. It didn't change as much as I thought it would uh -huh. anyway. Do people ever get really, like, confused when you start to, like, kind of add details of our relationship to a conversation and they just, like, start to hear more about what's going on and they don't get it? Well, using your pronouns is really interesting because there's, there's always a good... 20 seconds where if I'm talking to someone, they think that I'm dating two people. Oh, okay. Um, and then, like, I'll be like, no, no, no. And they'll be like, 
oh yeah, like I'm not dating a guy. And then the person will be like, oh, so you're in a lesbian relationship. And you're like, no. well, I'm not <laughs> dating a girl. Us and I'm and they're not they're not a lesbian. Yeah, uh, like when I'm talking to like queer friends and stuff, like they get it like oh immediately yeah. like uh-huh. they're like oh you're dating a non-binary person this makes sense but like yeah. definitely with like family and the non non queers uh the norm <laughs> that's a slur uh, <laughs> yeah it's interesting how even relationships that aren't heterosexual like are still seen through this like binary like it's normative lens do you feel any like discomfort using the word lesbian because of like the growing association with like turfs the, the word lesbian feels like really safe for me and really comfortable and i know like so many people who do identify as lesbians who just like make me proud to call myself a lesbian and like to me i just kind of like think about this it, like we're saving the word lesbian oh yeah from turfs like i think you know it. like if they don't if, get it. if they take it from us then it's theirs but no it's mine i agree that the word lesbian like isn't a bad word and doesn't belong to turfs mm-hmm. everyone has shitty people in their community but we're here to say that there are good lesbians i mean unfortunately she's taken but (laughs) there are good lesbians in the world ultimately it just comes down to being able to have a conversation about it you know like if you're a lesbian and you're you're trying to get with with a trans person just like being able to talk about the differences in that and making sure that you both feel like validated as long as you can communicate about it and you do both genuinely feel comfortable, I think I think you're good. Are you comfortable? Not right now. <laughs> yeah, I hope I hope you learn something, gain some insight into what this queer disaster is like. <laughs> are we good? Are we bi? How are you out? <laughs> are we bi? Are we bi? I'm not. You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was um, really good. You've you've learned. Um, well. Learned what? The art of pun. Are you telling me that I'm not good at puns? Now you are. <laughs> and now I'll go back. I'll leave all of Ezra's stuff in the description. I make videos. Screen. They make great videos and I love them. And they're the best. Oh, and we also filmed another video on my channel. We did the Who's More Likely To Challenge and we dragged each other a little bit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time we make a video. What are we talking about today? Well, I'm a sis. (laughs) (laughs) Don't lie on my channel. (laughs) I've never heard you say that with that much confidence before. (laughs) And it was like, I can't (laughs) felt. I felt so like. Gender. <laughs> this is Ezra's coming out video. <laughs> They're sis. <laughs> <sighs> we can we can do this. Uh, I was gonna say we can use this. Oh, okay.